Hi, Trisha here um, at East Marsh Shakers. And uh, right now, what I'm doing is, because I'm the painter of this whole project, is I'm staining our stairs. So I started this on Saturday. Um, I'm just finishing up, but I thought I better record this. So in case people are wondering how it was done or anything like that, and the process of our house being built. So anyways, um, so this is in my studio, which is a big mess right now. I barely have any room because um, we are put some extra shelves in the storage room. So everything had to come out of the storage room or to put the shelves up and that will we'll put them back again. But with regards to the staining, um, this is my stain lab. <laughs> um, as you know, or maybe don't know, if you haven't been following us for the whole time, but I am an artist, so I believe I'm a bit of a colorist. I have a very good eye for color, and so I thought I'm going to mix up my own stain. Be, to match our hardwood. So um, now I'm working with three different woods as well. So our banister is this and it is in oak. So oak is very hardwood so it takes up stain a lot less. And then I had samples of our hardwood um, right here um, so I could check them. So I was mixing up paint. Then I had this small little piece of pine <laughs> that I could mix up stuff because the stairs are pine. Then I realized that the back of the stairs, the risers, are actually in birch. So they take up the stain as well. But um, I... so. I'll show you around here, but you can see how this is my lab. So the first things I did was I did, I only had to do three samples um, for the oak and I went with number two there to match up. And so I made a recipe as so I would know one to one, one to three quarters, one to half, <clears throat> so on. So I used these little pill jars. And then when it came to the pine, I had to do 12 different um, concoctions. And as it turns out, it still didn't quite work out. So I have made... so. I, for the it worked well really well for the banister and uh, so I lightly stained the banister because it was pretty well in in uh, good condition <coughs> and then um, so the different types of stain that I'm using is um, I tried little ones so we have golden oak um, I tried ebony. That was way too dark in the mixture. Um, then we have, let's see. Oh, my glasses are fogged up. So I can't read them. Okay. Um, I've got driftwood. And I've got dark walnut. And I've got a gray um as well so the first concoction was gray and walnut and a little bit of driftwood and then the second concoction was the golden oak the driftwood and the first one of number two um uh some of that in there so it got a bit complicated but let's go to the stairs and i will show you what i've done and how I do it. So uh, it was quite fun actually to be playing around with color and because that's my thing. So as you can see it's kind of hard to get around things but 
uh, it was coming together. So, out to the stairs here. So I hope this goes well on the camera. But you can see these are the banisters. And so the top of the landing right there is actually um, the hardwood that we have upstairs. And so these are the stairs going up. So the risers again, like these are the risers, are birch. And so had to make them. So I put the one concoction on and it, it needed to be grayed up. So I used the second concoction to gray it up. And then I used the a gray just to put on there. So this is, it doesn't look like it matches there, but in person it kind of does. But anyways, yeah, it looks more yellow on the thing. So you can see I've got four more stairs to go. Um, so I've got, so this is my first batch, my second um, stain, and my third stain that I do. Um, so where can I put you so you can actually see what I am doing? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, got you hanging on the banister here. So, um, concoction number one. So, I do stir it um, before I use it every time. And just in case it separates a little bit. So I start from the outside and now I'm hitting the edge of the wall, but we are going to get some cord around there, so hopefully it covers, but otherwise I have paint, but I can paint it. So Let's see if you can see what I've done. No, you can't see what I've done. So I'm starting in the corner there. And uh, it's hard to sometimes get into the, into the middle part. So I have a stick that is, has a point on it. And so that, I kind of stick the cloth in and then you got to remember when you're staining um, to keep feathering the edges. Um, so uh, you're not going to get any hard lines. The um, pine in these, uh, on the stairs, it is the cheaper option than to go with a hardwood. But I'm finding that it is really, really rough. Um, you could probably use these in a tavern or something like that there. Just have that feel to it. So say, so because I want a more modern feel, 
Um, we are going to put, um, I think we're going to put runners, or they're not, it's not a runner per se, it's more stair treads that are rug, and you can put them on and they go from about here to here and uh, I'm doing the far corner right now probably out of your range of seeing. But you can see I got some drips here. So I want to take those out right away so they don't stay, which looks like they Glasses keep falling off my head. Just have to watch for errant stains. And you can see I'm walking on it. it seems once it goes into the wood, it doesn't really transfer over to, um, to my socks. So meaning we can use the stairs while I'm doing this. Now I'm gonna coat this all in a in a bare thing. for durability. Um, that's going to be a little bit more tricky, so I'm probably going to have to do it late at night. And uh, so it can dry by the morning. And I'll probably do probably barathane the sides into the middle and then uh, yeah and then the next night do the middle part when this is dry then I can so we can still walk up and down in the morning or whatever but um, and then I can do the middle part um, the next night so it's a it's a little bit of a process. So that's the undercolor right now. And so now I'm going to put this. This is the first color that I have for the banister. So it's quite a bit gray. So you can see how dark it is. And then I'm using this to wipe it off right away. So it gets into there. So it gets that gray tone to it a little, and a little bit darker, which is <coughs> then do a little bit to the to the birch but not too much. using the end of my cloth to do that. Okay, next third step is with just a gray transparent stain. You can see how gray that is. And that grays it up even more. So it kind of has a filmy 
gray coat, which is what our um, flooring looks like it has. So I'm not going too close to the edges. So, um, I don't have to worry about the cracks and so on with the, with the overcoats. Okay, so that's one done. So you can see the process. And I've got only one, two, three, and the top plate yet to do. So I should have this ready this afternoon. Thank goodness. Just is taking taking a while. So now I do have to watch for um, little drips that I may have had and I'll move up my contraption of, of uh, stuff. So, hope you enjoyed my staining process. It is very humid here in Ontario, Canada today, Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. And uh, so I am sweating like anything to do this. So um, anyways, it's been a process, and but we will get it done. So we'll talk to you soon. Take care.